what's up? Uh, A to Z here. We're gonna do some uh, snake feedings. First up, we're gonna have the uh, female boa right here. We got a male boa, and then we got uh, two female corn snakes for today. And, and you'll uh, see our tarantula feedings and the little angry beardy. And we're gonna be throwing in some uh, box turtle feeding videos that uh, we did earlier this week, since the box turtle is kept in an outdoor enclosure, and it's kind of tough to uh, get there all the time. Yep, pretty much. So, uh, sit tight. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, the female boa here tends to be a little bit aggressive, but just for as a safety precaution, this is why you use the snake hook and the gloves. If anyone's wondering why I have these things, um, just around feeding time, she tends to get a little snappy. So we're gonna see how she's feeling today. She's done lunges, yeah. She's good. She's all right. So right now, I'd say, how many years? Oof, I don't know. She's probably at hit five. Maybe five, six years old. She's, uh, if we were to breed her now, which we were planning on doing, I think it would stunt her growth. But she's about six feet maybe, five and a half. Got a good thickness to her. She get a little thicker, a little longer. I think she's almost about full grown, close to it anyway. She get a little thicker. Looks like she just shed too. Yeah, she did. Nice patterning. Good shine on her. It's not really good right now, but in the daylight you can see it. Personally, I wouldn't try a boa as your first snake. She's given me a couple problems with like her temper, um, the humidity, and the way the lighting has to be is all different from, say, your more average snakes, like a corn snake here. We see these two here, we have our corn snakes. Very easy to take care of. Um, just with the feeding, it gets a lot harder when you have to start feeding bigger animals to your snakes. But as far as snakes go, I think boas are definitely on the list to get. Yeah, they get a good size, but not too big. Sure. Not uncontrollably large. Yeah, not like your retics or your anacondas. And we're going to feed her a jumbo rat today. Hey guys, uh, this is our jumbo rat we have for our female boa. Um, frozen, just to thaw it in some warm water, and usually right before I give it to the snake, I find it a lot easier for them to find it and strike at it, but just I sit it here in front of uh, my space heater here, just for a little bit, just heats it up more, and uh, their sensors, their sight, I think, can see it better, in our general experience Oh yeah. of housing snakes. And it helps get snakes. the smell out. And... So uh, we're going to see... She's hungry today. After they take it and wrap it, we'll pick them up and put them back in the tank. She's not going to do nothing. 
she's got that rat and she's content. She knows that I'm just putting her back in the tank. This is how we do all of our snakes. Just set her gently back in the tank. She'll roll around, get to the position she needs to get it down. This is just a lock we put on it. It's just a suction cup between the two sliding glass doors. I'm not too comfortable housing a snake this big with glass doors that shift like this without a lock on it. I feel like they can get out. Uh, next we got the male here. He is super aggressive right now because he just saw me feed the female. That's our mistake. Is not When I like to feed the snakes, I like to cover the other snakes up so they don't see the rat jangling around getting the other snake fed. Now that he's seen a rat, he's out, he's aggressive, he knows he wants it. And since we don't do the rack systems, you can uh, you can actually, they can see us very well when we're feeding yeah. the other snakes. This is going to end in a strike probably. Now on me. <laughs> nah, he's good. And as again, like last, he is soaked in his water dish, which is the best. So this is our male. Albino. Uh, not sure of age. I got him about this size from a friend of ours. Um, just couldn't handle him anymore, so I said I'd take him in, no problem. So uh, we're gonna feed him a medium rat today. No problem for him. Again, just a boa. Nice colors, big red eyes on him as the albinos have. See how he does. Alright, so again, we're going to take our tongs here. Just grab our rat. Just hold him in front of the heater for a little bit. Just both sides just for a little bit. You can really smell it. It gets the smell of... It's the heat up so I can see it. Usually right away. And again, now he's got that wrapped. Pick him up. Probably right under the heat bulb. Around his hide. We got a shed in there. Uh, that would have been a nice one to keep. Dry as a fart. just a temporary tank we have him in. Like I said, I just got him from a friend. I was in him for a bit. Put him right here. If he wants to let go of my hand. Again, we have the suction cop lock. A little bit of spit. Push it right on there. Those doors aren't moving nowhere. Hey guys, so this is uh, actually the oldest reptile I own. It's a female corn snake. Most friendly snake I've ever had. Corn snakes are generally more friendly, I find. Very docile. Good beginner pets. If you're looking to get a beginner pet for a snake anyway, I would say corn snake for sure. Yeah, they don't have huge heat requirements, they don't have crazy lighting requirements, and uh, they can handle a fairly long time without being fed, especially in the wild. Um, the great snakes. Good if you're on a beginner. Again, the same thing. <laughs> Just adult mice for corn snakes. You generally don't want to go bigger than an adult mouse. Especially her age now being 13, almost 14 years old. She's not going to want to stretch out for a big rat or anything like that. So just two small mice or two adult mice. two females in the same tank, it makes it kind of difficult for feeding, but this one we should just feed in the tank.
comment or anything below if there's any of these snakes you'd like us to talk more about or do a personal video on it or you can just do a whole clip on just housing, anything you guys want to learn.